Nigeria should present national identity number NIN even before using restaurant. Buhari's minister Pantami speaks on insecurity. Welcome to the news and thank you for doing thank you for tuning in to listen. The minister who claimed that he had since renounced his stance on terrorism added that the NIN policy was mandatory by law in Nigeria and that it stood to secure the country. But come to think of it, if this particular any policy you they are bringing is not helping to solve this problem, sincerely it is a flop. Sincerely, you know, sincerity is a flop. This NIN issue was meant to know who are the real Nigerians here and to know who they are not. So if they are telling me that they are, you see, oh, Nigerians, eh? Sense no go kill us. If they are coming to tell us now that uh, this uh, this NIN, um, people start asking, it is true. If you say that you did this NIN to know the population, then why can't you flush out these people? Yes. Please come with me. The Minister for Communication and Digital Economy, Issa Ali Pantami, who has been linked to terrorist activities in the recent past, has stated that in order to secure Nigeria in the next few years, Nigerians should present and verify their national identity number even before using a restaurant. Pantemi explained why his ministry insisted on the mandatory use of the NIN in spite of over 44 petitions written against the policy and several court cases in the country. The minister who claimed he had seen renounce his stance on terrorism added that the NIN policy was mandatory by law in Nigeria and that it stood to secure the country. He said without profiling, no country will be secure globally. Criminals do not like it and they have been fighting it day in, day out. The minister stated this while speaking at a convocation lecture of the Federal College of Education Technical, Gumbi. He added, When I came up with the policy, they wrote more than 44 petitions against us just to stop it. Some of them to Mr. President, some of them even court cases. On that policy alone, some People suspected to be criminals took to the federal government to at least seven courts all over the country. But today, it has become part of our lives. You cannot go and obtain a SIM card without an NIN, and we are glad that a joint admission and matriculation board has accepted it. The Nigerian Immigration Service also has accepted it. I do hope that in order to secure our country in the next few years, even if you want to enter restaurants, you must verify your NIN. Most of us, when we travel abroad, we obtain your NIN before going anywhere or doing anything. But when we come back to Nigeria, we do not have it. You cannot go and work in the USA without a social security number. You cannot work in the UK without a national insurance number. You cannot work in Saudi Arabia without their SAND number. You cannot go to India and work without their Adhar number. In all those countries, this identification is mandatory by law, and it is mandatory by law in Nigeria. So in any situation, we will continue to push for its implementation, and for sure, we cannot be intimidated. On this issue, I'm saying, okay, fine. You pushed for it to happen. What I was saying earlier before was, then what is the use of it? I mean, yes, since how many years now they've been trying to oh, get a match number? You do not come and say that no, that it has not gotten gone round. It is a lie. If it has not gone round, that means which states have not done it? Which state? Almost everyone has done it. Because these days, you want to do some things like some transaction involving money and other things you need to have it so what are you saying hmm? no it is not that is what i'm saying if this thing now does not stand i mean to help in any way the military who are fighting these people then i'm saying it as a flop that means you just went out to bury a culture that does not even help anything and that particular funds that was using it was just wasted like that you have to come out and say how has this thing been proven or how it can be used. This is why I'm saying <laughs> before people are given positions, federal, state, local, you have to screen them. If you're doing something, you should have a tangible reason. What will this policy bring? What problem will it solve? 
You can't just say, oh, I suggest this and you know it will do this. Then at the end of the day, it is not able to do it. It is waste of Nigeria's money. If it is not going to come out now and say, oh, this particular issue now, in this security issue, this will solve it. Then, I am not saying, what you are coming to say, you are coming to, you are shooting yourself in the leg. Because all Nigerians will come and ask you, what have you been using the ones they have registered for? Yes, you're going to say, oh, Nigerians, you know, they're kind of coconut-headed. Not everybody have gotten. But do you know that a bigger population has gotten? Because, of course, they are in some places now that you cannot do without your NIN. And, of course, those places are not where you can avoid. So what are they saying? What are they saying? They should come out and tell us what this particular policy now of theirs has done. Of what use is this policy to Nigerians? It is not enough to come out and say, oh, this policy I support it. Except you want to tell me you just went there, fell in love with the culture of them doing their, you know, identifying people. And then you came back and you, that is just it, without thinking things through. The, e okay. <laughs> okay. Boko Haram, Hatsman, bandits have taken control of the federal government. Okay. He's showing his word that he's a professor of... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. They're going to drag him. They are going to drag him. Even the National Bureau of Statistics cannot carry out this tax. The National Population Commission is inequipped for this tax, not to talk of mere communication commission. Anything that will make Nigerians have a truly enumerated po population, politicians of northern extraction will kick against it. Okay. Like I said, he's going to be under fire. Okay. But the issue of having it to have it even when you're going to places, like I said, they are in some strategic places. It must not be in everywhere. If everybody has, have, or has it now at the end of the day, you won't know. It's not going to be needed. But I tell you, there are some places you cannot maneuver it. Even if it should not be in all places. Of course, it should not be. I want to go to the restaurant and I'm famished and I might collapse. You are telling me to give you my INI. And I, maybe it's in my back. I might collapse there for you. No, I'm just joking. So, I mean, my own is, how has this thing helped? In what way? What is the percentage of help? How useful has this thing been? If you want to push people to say, oh, do this thing, you say, okay, you have done this thing and these people that's registered, okay, we have been able to do this and do this and do that, then you can motivate us to do it. Yes. You cannot just say, oh, you went abroad, they do this, they have it, and you just brought it back. So, it doesn't work like that. You want Nigerians to do it? Give us a proof of the benefit of visit NIN number. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.